Okay, today we're going to show you how to make some jig heads um, for fishing. And what we're going to do is we're going to be making some eighth ounce uh, heads for our weight. And you can see we've got got our stuff laid out here. We've got a we've got a pair of side snippers to to clip them with once they're done. We've got a pair of needle nose to hang on to them. They're they're very hot when they come out. We got the sinker mold. We got the spoon to dip the the dirt off of our lead. It it, it will come to the top when it's dirty and allow us to scoop it off. And you can see we've got some lead over here to the to the side of the pot here to melt. And we've got the pot itself which has got a little handle on it and uh, we'll get into it a little more here in a little bit when we start pouring and show you a little more about it. But all the lead goes in the top of the pot. And you see it's still solid right now. We've got it heating up with electric. We got our little electric cord running over here to the garage plug in. We've got a couple of bottles here to this we just use pill bottles to store our weights in. They work really well. So you can use whatever you'd like. And we got our simple table here, just a lightweight fold out table that we can set up easy in the garage. And here's a little bit about the hooks. We've got if you noticed our hooks, I'll zoom in here, we've got the jig head hook, which is it's made a little different than any other hook. It allows the lead to be poured around just behind the eye of the hook to make the weight. And we like the red brand hooks. Um, we buy all of our hooks from Pin and Feather, they're Eagle Claw hooks. And it's, these hooks come from Springfield, Missouri. Like I say, at the Fin and Feather Shop. So we're going to get started here in a little bit. Our lead is going to heat up to about, oh, probably about 800 degrees before it actually turns liquid. And it's very hot. You never want to get your lead anywhere on your skin, anywhere on your body, because it will immediately burn you severely. So that's something to keep in mind when you're working with lead. It is very hot. So here we've got a We've got a lure here, I'll show you, and demonstrate here in my hand. This will be, get zoomed in here, this will be what you'll see when you're actually rigged up. And we do a lot of slider fishing, and you'll see in a lot of my videos over at jerryfishingblog.com that our, uh, our sliders are all rigged the same. We use these hooks in all of our sliders. We use different colors. And, and here's the setup after it's inserted into the slider and that's what we're going to be making today so stay around with us and we will get started here shortly okay we're back and uh, our lead is heated up as you can see here I'll shine it in the camera in the pot here and you can see it's liquid form you can kind of I'll bump the table you can kind of see it jiggling around inside the pot so it's ready to pour and what we've got here is we've got the the mold we're going to be using and we've got it set up now and you can see the the head size in this mold it pours several different sizes it starts out oh probably 11 30 seconds all the way up to a quarter ounce half ounce so we're using eighth ounce today here so here's your hook and here's how it lays inside the mold and you can see the little the little uh crevice there that's it's spiked that's for the bait holder and once the lead is poured you can see how it can mold around oh camera's getting blurry okay you can see how it molds around the hook and we'll show you here shortly on what it looks like at right after it's poured so we'll get started here pour one Okay. Notice the mold is clamped down, held with both hands. And let me get down here to where I can show you the base of this melting pot. And what it does, it's got a little spout on it. As you can see, the little spout is hold, held over the hole in which it was going to 
be poured and then we've got the handle which he makes the flip of the handle and that's all it takes is the flip of the handle the lead is now inside the mold and when we open it up here's what we're going to find let me zoom in here and you can see that it's stuck to the mold but now it is in perfect form you can see the pretty shiny lead around the jig head so now he's got his needle nose pliers he's going to wiggle it and they can get stuck sometimes so you have to just wiggle it around and it takes a little effort sometimes the, the, once the lead is hot enough and it heats up the mold it comes out a lot better but you can see we've got it now we'll lay it over here on the table here where we can there we go so now he's got the side cutters he's going to snap the excess lead off which you'll have once it is poured let me zoom in here so now that he's clipped it off now you've got your perfect jig head so we're going to pour them one at a time since we don't have the production mold out we've got a production mold where we can pour several at one time and it is an option um, to use if you want to get faster at it and make more hooks at one time but um we're we're set up here today just to uh, pour a hundred hooks we're going to pour a hundred hooks and it's going to take us a little while probably an hour to pour those hundred hooks and get them clipped and ready to go in the tackle box so you just want to remember your lead is extremely hot and I can't stress this enough you do not want to get this anywhere on your body clothing or anywhere it'll just melt right through it so but like anything if you take your time you do it right you're gonna come out with a good product and something you can use so we're gonna set that jig head down and get started with another so I will hold the camera here while he loads loads the mold and you can see how he inserts it and usually if you handle the mold quickly after use and not get uh, too aggressive with your hands you won't get burned it's not it's not like it's just so extremely hot it's gonna hurt you really bad you can see he's using his finger here after we poured one but you do things a little quicker working with a hot mold that way you don't get any irritation or a burn so he's back in business again and ready to got it lined up under the spout and he's going to flip the handle and it takes just that long to have that mold poured and there you have it again the second jig head and you can see and there is times where your melting pot may act up a little bit it may get a little dirt in it may not work quite as quite as good but you can always re-pour you can actually hold your jig head down inside your lead pot and melt the lead completely back off of the hook and pull the hook out using needle nose pliers so we don't have that happen very often but it can occasionally happen for, for the most part everything turns out the way we like it so that is how you complete your jig heads that is how you make what you want to fish with um, like I say you can get different jig heads that do a little bit different your little um, bait holders there you can see the little sharp bait holder some jigs are, uh, are molds I'm sorry that you pour they are smaller they they're different brands they work a little different so whatever is to your liking um, that's what you should stay with so we've got now 98 hooks to go so he's loading another one up so we hope that we've showed you the basics and everything on how to do this and if you have any more questions on it you can come over to my blog site at jerry'sfishingblog.com and I've got a place you can ask questions you can email me and if you have any questions with all of this then feel free to contact me and I will get back to you as soon as I can you can see here 
again the access I'll show you a zoom in here the access is all there is is on the very head of the jig that we've poured and once it's clipped it's ready to lay out and you can let them lay out until you're done on the table and you can see this is plastic table they're not hot enough they're going to embed themselves into the table or anything and then once they're laid out during the whole process we will just take them over here and find our bottles here and that's what we'd place them in so you can do it however you like but anyway that's how we do our jig heads thanks for watching